chart. Now, for people I don't know, where were you working before you started this? Oh, I was my last job, and I've been out of business longer than most um, at the table here anyway for two years. Was KTOC, but I was with Clear Channel for six years. Yeah. Started there at Cities, and uh, then moved over to KFan for three years, yeah. and then went and moved. And I was one of the first casualties in the hacking yeah. that went on over there. Yeah. And it was, you know, it was really hard, and it was, it was sad. And I, I kept a weekend real estate show that I do that I love because you're I, still doing that. Yep, still doing that on the same yeah. same station, and because uh, real estate's how I got in radio in the first place, actually. So I just kind of stuck around, and I was always hoping that something would pop back up. But I thought, you know, I don't necessarily want to get up at three o'clock in the morning to go do something that I that I'm doing because it's the only thing that's available. Yeah. Right. Yes. You know. Mm -hmm. And so here we are. Mm -hmm. And we don't know if we'll ever get paid. We don't know if anybody will ever listen or watch. <laughs> but we're not entirely sure we care at this point. And it's an opportunity to say the things we want to say yeah. and to enjoy the show. To enjoy yeah. sitting down and talking. Now i got to tell you something. You know, you talk about side chicks. Yeah. So that was a term I've never heard of. Oh, I know. But, uh, you know, <laughs> being the overnight guy and getting off uh, work and getting in the elevators in the CBS building, uh, it was great with you guys up there because somebody always had this great perfume on, and I get in the elevator going, "Wow, oh, that's so <laughs> nice!" You know, I left this locker room atmosphere for the last four hours, and suddenly, mm -hmm. this wonderful aroma. <laughs> so whoever it was, thank you. Freshly showered. Yeah. Could it have been? Yeah, did you listen to the radio during the daytime after it, you were up all night doing it? Yeah, I would. Yeah. Yeah. Have you felt like it, the radio as we knew it and loved it and what made us want to go there has declined in quality over the years? Oh, yeah. Oh, without question. Yeah. It, it's like it's more? <laughs> well, it has become very highly formatted. Yeah. You know, I, I remember jockeying uh, on various stations, and, you know, this market and other markets. And, you know, there was a day where, as a, as a jock, you know, you could throw on the platter and on the turntable, whatever you want to play. It. So, you know, if you got on the line, the program director would walk in and say, you don't do that. Mm -hmm. uh, so you knew what your, your boundaries, your limitations were, but you, know, you had a lot of freedom. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, once again, that's back in the old days, and those days are gone. But, you know, I, I was talking to my brother who spent years uh, in radio and finally got out. And uh, I said, what would, what would ever happen if somebody came to this market and would boss top 40 sound? And there's no question in my mind it would just rip this market to shreds. No question about it, because the radio was so boring. Yeah. It's so it's, it's so homogenous. I mean, it's just, everything is the same. You know? Yes. Yeah, and, and everybody who listens knows it. So yeah. was that your shred of, of of fulfillment and satisfaction that, that you had your latitude and that you could? It was it was the only show that you could do that. You know, like I said, it was it was wonderful because I worked at CCO, but you know nobody knew it. You know, like you know imagined you know, until until they started looking at. Yeah, you know, where can we make cuts? And they looked at, at me and they went, whoa! <laughs> yeah. Well, here's a seemingly morbid question, but I was asked this myself afterward, and I had people uh, come up to me and say, hey, Kelly, you've been fired, and if, um, what would you say to other people who have a colleague who gets let go? Um, based on your experience, what would you say? You, meaning earlier, you expressed how much you appreciated the phone calls and the overwhelming support. Right, right. A lot of people don't know how to act when it happens to someone that they well, know. If, if you know, so give a call and just let them know that uh, you know people thinking of. And I, I have a lot of calls. It's uh, it's been really amazing. People that, that you know I've worked with for twelve years that I don't see. You know, there's a couple of people just off the top of my head that uh, you know we were co-employees, we worked together, but we never saw each other. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, they called and just expressed. And I would add to that, Al called me. And we when didn't. it happened to me. Yeah, or they even knew each other. Yeah. I knew you because I brought, I brought donuts up to you guys. Yes, he did. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah Jane's Bakery. You yeah. know, those, those morning guys on CCO looked like they were eating too much. So I thought, we gotta, we got to take this uh, fresh baked goods up to the, the LT. We were after the perfume. Yeah. 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 Following my nose. Following the phone. Yeah, the phone calls and, and just, hey, you know, still matter. I think that's. It helps. Yeah. It helps a lot. Yeah. It really does. And, uh, yeah, that's what I would recommend. You know, you get, a, get on the phone mm -hmm. and, and call people you know, and tell them that, uh, hey, sorry about that. That's all you have to say. Yeah. You know, and, and 
you know, there are times when people deserve to get fired, uh, you know, with the still hurts. In fact, you know, the article in Star Tribune this morning irritated me because it's, it's the headline was, I was fired. Yeah. And, and fired makes it, there's a connotation there that there was some wrongdoing, and that's what, that's what that irritated me. Yeah. Because it, it, was, it was a layoff. Yeah. And it was strictly for economic reasons. But there's the sensationalism that draws people to look at it and read the article. But once again, if it walks like a duck. Yeah, well, I was fired. <laughs> so was I. <laughs> but you, and yet, yet we laugh. Yeah. Well, what else are you going to do? What, what else can you Otherwise, do? you're going to cry. Yeah. yeah. Well, exactly. You know? Yeah. So you can do that once and then it's time to go over. Yeah. Al, thank you so much. Is this over? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> have to be. Oh, maybe. You, you have to come back and just do a regular show with us. What do you yeah. like, Henry? Should I come back and see you? Oh, heck yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You Henry, Henry says this person. Yeah, what, what do you think? Yeah. Mom, um, <laughs> is it okay? <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not my choice. I don't know how to open the door. Well, will you come back and do an actual show? Sure. That sounds great. How do I do that? <laughs> Who asked you? <laughs> you did. I thought this was an actual show. What was this? This was the All About Al show. I need, oh. I need an outside of a regular topic. <laughs> I think it's a resounding yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, very sorry to see another one of our esteemed colleagues uh, leave the traditional format, but Al, we believe in you and we know that you can find another place for your tremendous well, voice. I, I just want to say that uh, I still love CCO. I mean, I really do. I, I, the people that I worked with, uh, I, one thing that I've been very sad about was uh, the, uh, the article I ran on the uh, Strip website, their internet. Uh, there, you know, people writing comments. There are hundreds of comments, and they were taking shots at the uh, people that I worked with. Oh. And I, I, I felt bad that uh, because I did the interview, uh, my colleagues today were having shots taken at them. Mm -hmm. I felt bad about that. Well, you're now responsible for it. Yeah, but I, I, I did because they're, they're uh, just. Uh, I have never worked with a better group of people, and that, that's uh, that's a fact. I mean, just a great group. And the fact that he would be upset that pot shots were taken at former co-workers and colleagues is exactly the reason why he will be so sorely missed. Well, thanks. So thank you. Wow. Thanks, guy. We have a group cry. Have a group Henry. Have a group Henry. I'll show you how to get unemployment. Henry is a group himself. <laughs>